Despite only having 184 subscribers at the filming of this video, we at 3411 Heaven are widely pursued by companies that want us to demonstrate their product. Today, we will be unboxing and reviewing one of those products that will apply to all of you out there who want to be the next Casey Nestat, the next Jake Paul, the next Logan Paul, or maybe not, but all of you who want to become vloggers. Today, we will be looking at the Comica CVM VM 10 K2 Multifunction Smartphone Video Kit. Roll the intro. Like any good unboxing, we begin with the knife, which we unsheath, and then we come here. There is one slip of tape. And we just give that a little cut. There we go, put the knife aside, gotta be safe. We pop open the box, and then we realize, wow, Dave, you forgot to read what's on the box. Let's read. The main features of this product are, combine audio and video, provide a better shooting experience. Exquisite, not excellent, exquisite filming suite, complete functions, versatile handheld smartphone clamp, full video capture, professional mic with a cardioid pattern, which, for those of you wondering, looks exactly like this, or in my mind, a pumpkin missing the stem facing out of the microphone. That's what I imagine. Also included is a bottom 1 4th external screw port for extended connection, CNC processing, solid and durable. What does that mean? Inside this box, quality product. Let's open up. We open up and we see there's a case, a carrying case. You know what this reminds me of, Jack? This reminds me of me going on vacation. I got my little toiletries in here, but instead of toiletries, what do I got? A nice zipper sound. And then after the zipper sound, I have my microphone kit. Where inside we find user manual. A thing that says what Comica is and telling us to go to a review, typical. Last but not least, warranty. But aside from the stuff that doesn't matter, here's what does. There is a foam insert which holds all your various components. And first off, we have a stand that is said to be sturdy. And I just ruined our tablecloth. That's how sturdy it is. Um, not gonna lie, I'm putting a fair amount of pressure on it. It's doing pretty good. Uh, to actually move the ball on top, there is a push button that allows us to move. And I will say it's not, it's not very smooth. It's, uh, it sounds like this. Kind of sounds like teeth grinding. We'll see when the phone's actually on there. I'm assuming that it holds its spot pretty well since it is very rigid. Next up is the actual phone holder. Now I've had one of these where it's uh, it's like a spring clamp. This is not like that. There is a screw adjuster that allows you to clamp it open. And I will be showing you what this looks like with an iPhone 7 Plus with an OtterBox commuter case, see if it fits. Uh, most of the time in my other similar setup, I'd have to take my case off, but we'll see. So take the phone, rock in that iPhone 7. Gonna need it a little bigger. And uh, boom shakalaka, it looks like we're not gonna have to take off the case. And that we're gonna be able to clamp her down. Well, that goes tight, I like that. I like that instead of the spring setup. It, I'm not gonna lie, this seems pretty sturdy. Not that I'm one to be very careful with my phone, but I'm really not worried about it in this setup. Uh, from there we can take this. For the actual screen it on top of the stand, there is a little wheel that allows you to actually twist the threads rather than having to sit here and rotate it like this, even though that's what I'm, well, I did that for a bit. But allows you to get that on there tight. And then the leg still moves. It still moves a little bit. That top, I'm not convinced. So far the tripod's my least favorite part. From there, the main event, the big kahuna, the mic, the Comica mic. It's a shotgun mic, cardioid pattern. Need we not forget that. And uh, there's a little, uh, wind, would you call this a wind blocker, Jack, or a piece wind of foam? Screen. A windscreen. 
pop filter that comes on it as well as this thing that looks like a cat toy which it's called a what this is called a dead cat you're lying it's not called a dead cat oh my goodness that's a little bit morbid uh the dead cat might cover for i'm um, super windy conditions i'd assume uh, i'm not gonna try and put that on but it's there take this put it back on because we want our pop filter on like so and then we grab the cord but here's where I can't do much more until later because I have an iPhone 7 which does not have a headphone jack and this is what it uses so the microphone you take there's a slot on top and depending on how you want to do it if you want to use the selfie cam if you want to use your own personal camera take that you pop it into your headphone jack which I don't have all right, so my phone mysteriously disappeared. We have Jack's phone because Jack is a modest man who doesn't participate in Apple products, which is okay. I will say when swapping out the phone, I noticed that the tripod, it's a bit floppy here. Again, probably my least favorite part so far. I guess we'll see how the mic holds up. So right now we will be switching. And now we are using the mic with a nice cardioid pattern. And from our preliminary testing where we were just messing around with it, we found that it sounds pretty okay, close up, you'll have to judge for yourself. But when you get far away and Jack holds on to things and you can hear me talking, we're about five feet away. Now we're, yep, about five feet. Things start to sound a little, a little eh. But for the price, can you really beat it? I don't know, maybe $52.99. Link in the description, try it out for yourself. I should mention there also is a shock absorber for the mic, or at least it seems that way. It looks like it'll do a pretty good job. But for first blog, not blog, for a first vlog setup, this might be for you. I mean, it's amazing what you can do with just a smartphone, portable tripod that doesn't move when you're going like this, and a microphone. Because at the end of the day, what makes high quality videos is a decent camera, your phone can do that. A decent microphone, most phones can't do that well. And the ability to have a nice little viewing angle. So, if you want to, try it out for yourself. That's all we have for today though. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you want to send us something, you can find our email in our profile bio. Come to us there. Maybe we'll feature your product, maybe not. That's all I got for you today, folks. Bird out.